Yeah, your turn. Like that. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess I'll attack the people with uh, my axe. Alright, attack with your axe. Throw it. Difference between the doors? Uh, you they can are, tell? They're all wooden. They all have nested hinges, so their hinges are in the walls. Uh, and they have big, grinning green faces embossed on the, on the surface of the doors. I recklessly the mouths charge. open wide and painted <laughs> black. So. Oh. So we, I'd like to recklessly approach the first visitor's door and attempt to kick it open. Okay. Uh, you uh, you learned nothing. Okay, we covered your <laughs> I'm very lucky. <laughs> uh, why don't you roll a strength check for me to see if you can kick the door down? <laughs> there is a resounding thumb as your foot impacts the door. <laughs> door stays closed. Um, it's I, always I, downhill since that somersault. <laughs> the, the door is unlocked. <laughs> source from the Beatles still Very good cool. question. Yes, all those weird fleshy globules that are on their backs are still glowing. All right, we'll I go. take one and stick them on the half leg. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good for much else by this point. <laughs> well, we take them with us. Okay. Also, if I were to eat some of the Beatles, would I regain any HP? Uh, probably not. But then I do it anyway. <laughs> I, I bite into one manly. <laughs> Alright, you managed to chomp down on some hot beetle action. Is it delicious? <laughs> no, it's pretty foul. I still like one that high, so I don't care. Does he glow now? I open the door and it's like, do you see a white Or did he grow a beard? Looking into the room, you see that there's a passageway that's 10 feet wide and extends 40 feet ahead of you. At the 40 foot mark, it turns to the right. All right, there's a hallway down here, guys. Can we send the halfling down there since he's got light on his head? <laughs> you sure could, if the halfling's willing. I think the halfling is yes, there. He's willing. He, he's, he's, he's he doesn't have much to lose at this point. How, how I'm is, still dazed enough to agree to whatever he says. Okay, so... Between the life and the spell, plus also the life from the halfling. <laughs> He's got these thickums. You're gonna be a great sneak with a light source. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it'd be nice if we could maybe not bring the light source into the room, so someone who could see down the corner, peek around the corner without alerting it. Can at least be quiet. All right, look, there's something you can charge there. Exactly. Oh yeah, charge down the hallway. Okay. <laughs> we should pick up the half. I'm <laughs> desperately looking for ways to validate myself, so I equally agree. Did he ever pick up his axe? Yes, he did. He did. Okay. Uh, you dwarf, you charge down the hallway, and boldly you do. Yes. Uh, and you manage to reach the end of the hallway and find yourself at a turn. To your right, the corridor continues on uh, 40 feet and turns back, almost the way you come, forming a U. Okay. I charge more. <laughs> He's still alive, so we will Bye, guys. cautiously walk down the hallway. It's worked for us so far. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, More cautiously. Sure. Okay. <laughs> the halfling is in front of me too. Okay. You run away. Uh, as you're about to halfway <laughs> down the passage, <laughs> you see something weird about the wall on your left. Okay. Strange, um, like a strange discoloration in the in the, in the plaster. Okay. The can I can I test it and see if it's a soft spot or some kind of it is there weakness like, in the wall? It, uh, in fact, it's, you, as you're getting close to it, you see there's a weird gap that kind of forms around the outline. Of this discolored area. Okay, so it appears to be perhaps a secret door. It's a secret door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, is there 
do I know there's any kind of handle or any way to open the push, door and push, push it? Push it? it Alright, first I want to call to him and make sure he doesn't keep going down the end of the hallway. Well, look at him. He's like, you know my mom! <laughs> 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 you might need him to kick it up again. Or try. Well, so, the dwarf has already torn Alright, he's too gone. Okay. Right, so let's go back to the dwarf real quick. Okay. Dwarf, you come, you run down the hall, and you're at the end, and you see that you've turned the corner again. And the passageway goes for quite some distance, maybe 60 feet. And you see a wooden door on the right hand side. There are no, there's no sign of your companion behind you. Kick it. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Uh, I'm excited at the prospect of there being a treasure that I can keep for myself <laughs> and not tell them. Because I'm a bad person. It's like the beginning of a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you well, he has a door. Nice, nice mustache cream, but now I'm not because you're being rude. Oh. <laughs> I just killed that I beetle. Uh, 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 powered by death. <laughs> my bravado is a little bit, let's say, not Shut. there. Uh, so I'm just going to cautiously knock on the door this time. Okay, so you are back at the door. You're looking at the door. And... I want to open the door. I want to check right. it out. You put a pressure on the, on, the, on the door itself, and there's a click, mm -hmm. and it swings inward. What do I see? A square room, 20 foot by 20 foot. Uh, there are, uh, there's poop all over the floor. Found <laughs> 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 that? It's, it's bloody poop. And it's uh, Jesus Christ! Is it the same poop? No, no, it looks like it's poop made of blood. No. Uh, oh. That's a thing? <laughs> There are glittering gemstones in it. You hear the flapping of wings overhead. What? Is that the hat? Is that the hat? Damn it! Can we just kind of slide them along the ground? Don't talk about it. Well, what do I see? Can I see what the flapping is? Yes, you can. And you see there are seven bat-like creatures, but they have long proboscises. Proboscis. Proboscis. It looks like they have long needles darting oh, into the other head. And they seem to be excited by the presence of fresh, fresh, fresh butter. Fresh flesh. Okay, so they see us. Run away. Uh, <laughs> I feel better about my situation. Dwarf, <laughs> Dwarf, you are standing in front of this door. What are you going to do? Uh, did anyone answer my knock? Uh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> so, well a little, do I, do I hear anything behind the door? Put your ear up to the door. Uh, something tickles the inside of your ear. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, well, beyond that, I'm feeling a little bit better about no one being around to see my failure whenever I do and never fail. Uh, oh my god. Give me a strength check, please. Okay. No. 14. All right, the door splinters inwards. You all hear a loud commotion coming from up and around the corner. Okay. There's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the door caves in, and you see it looks to be some sort of storage room. Okay. Uh, there are rotting pieces mm -hmm. of what might be cloth all over the place. Sweet free clothes. <laughs> I'd like to enter and uh, take, a, take a look at my surroundings, see if there's anything valuable or something that just might catch my fancy. Uh, there is a rather smart. Uh, bowls of green cloth. So you get rotting cloth, we get bloody poop. <laughs> 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 so it's back to the Earthy Adventurers, who have these uh, flying creatures that are now starting to get closer and closer. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to put flea up on the board as a potential. Can we nose the door? Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm going to... He's got some smart green cloth. It's gonna be I think we something. should GTF. You don't know that. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. You, you pull the door closed, leaving the gelatinous mass on the floor untouched. <laughs> Usually when I, when I open a door and that is on the floor, <laughs> I don't enter. It's probably good. It's a deal breaker. We're not in that room anymore. Are we safe at this point? You are safe. Well, we did hear something coming from down the hall. We should check it out. Dumb dumb over here. <laughs> 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 I thought that was your knee. <laughs> Sorry, close enough. Dumb dumb doodle. What was tickling your ear? Oh no, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sweat the small stuff. I feel like a 
in the rapid fire. Is there anything that exits the room, the storeroom that he's in, or are we going to done it? Yeah, I think we should go check out this business. So he pulls his cloth out and it's really fine and soft. I'm going to make a cake out of it. There are some weird birds that kind of burrowed into it, but you can brush them off. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I'd like to tie it around the cake. Oh, no. Feel very fancy. You are very fancy. <laughs> I roll a fancy trick. Quite <laughs> <laughs> <My> fancy. <laughs> uh, you, die. you are around the corner and you see the dwarf draped in uh, rotting green cloth. Uh, <laughs> and he's sashaying around here. Yes. There is a large set of teeth that's kind of curled up in his ear and it's kind of crawling around in his beard. Okay. It's three salt. That's my friend. I'm going to send a teeth in your ear. Just wanted you to let that. Let you know that. He's already named him Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Bradley. Right, well, I warned him. We had a moment. <laughs> Make I have a feeling he's part of the group. Are you so close to you right now? <laughs> <laughs> Make him one of your pets. Yeah. My pet? 